guys and welcome to the family fudge today on what's cooking Wednesday I'm doing a little bit of meal prep but not for the freezer I'm actually gonna be making some egg muffin cups but I'm going to be making them three different ways some for the kids some for the husband and some for myself because it's so easy to customize these any way you prefer so I'm gonna make a big batch and then put them in the fridge and we can have them for breakfast over the next couple of mornings. It's a great way to save time in the morning and it's pretty healthy too. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. Okay friends, now before we get started on these delicious and easy egg muffin cups, make sure to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you like easy make ahead breakfasts. Now let's get started. Now for our egg muffin cups, I'm going to start with the same egg mixture as a base. And then I'm going to add different toppings depending on who I'm making them for. And it really depends on how much you want to make. I want to make at least two dozen. So I'm going to need at least two dozen eggs plus a couple of extra. So I'm going to start by cracking my eggs into a large bowl. To this I'm going to add a splash of milk or you could use half and half if you'd like and beat them up. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. You definitely don't want these eggs to be bland, so make sure to season them. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour them into my muffin tins. Now to make this really easy, I'm actually going to use some silicone baking liners. These are reusable and it really helps to get the egg out of the pan and won't leave you with a huge mess. So first up, I'm making some for my kids. I'm going to make bacon and cheese, nice and easy, something I know they like. I'm going to take some cooked turkey bacon and cut it up. And all you have to do is sprinkle a little bit into each cup and top it with cheese. For this I'm using some shredded cheddar. And that's it, nice and simple, I know the kids are going to love it. Next up I'm going to make a spicy version, which happens to be my favorite. I'm going to start by using some green chilies. I get these green chilies in a can. I'm going to go ahead and drain off the water and chop them up. These aren't very spicy, pretty mild, but I really like them. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit in each cup, followed by some cheese. Now for me, I'm actually going to use some Havarti cheese, but you can use any you prefer. I'm just going to put one square in each muffin liner. Next up, I have a version I know my husband will enjoy because it includes steak. We had some leftover steak from our dinner last night, so I'm just going to go ahead and chop this up pretty small and add it to my eggs. Just a little bit in each compartment. Next I'm going to add some finely diced veggies. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of red pepper and onions. And you want to make sure to chop these really small so they have time to cook. Lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of shredded cheddar to the top of each of the muffin cups. Next, I'm going to get these into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the eggs are no longer runny. And I do like to add my muffin tins to a cookie sheet before I put them into the oven. That way, in case any of them spill over, it's not going to make a big mess inside my oven. And there you have it, these smell so good. Something for everyone. Now some of these I'm going to serve right away. These are good for breakfast, but they're also good for lunch or dinner. And the rest I'm going to put in a container and keep it in the fridge for about two or three days. And to reheat them, I actually like to stick them in my toaster oven for just one to two minutes. You can also stick them in the microwave if you'd like. And there you have it, you can serve this with some milk, some juice, some fresh fruit and you have a yummy, delicious, and easy make-ahead breakfast. Now if you'd like to see last week's delicious recipe, you can click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.